Here is an answer to our question. The fourth jewel of the locket allows us figurative transformation. Henry, your ancestors were full of resources. I don't think they were the source of this medallion my uncle would have known. In addition, we didn't find any research notes on this subject. In my opinion, they only looked for the missing parts. They thought that once they had completed the medallion, it would rid them of the beast. None succeeded. Where does the medallion come from then? We shall end up discovering, I'm sure. Henry, you told us that your uncle had prepared this room for you. He hoped for your visit? I had indeed planned to come see him, but we had not fixed the date. My business in Canada leaves me little free time. Do you know who lived in this room before Sir Charles prepared it? I believe that this room was occupied for quite some time. Nobody lived here. The room of Edward, the famous navigator of the family, and the first victim of the curse. You told us that he was Hugo's brother. Was he living at the manor during the delinquency of his diabolic brother? No, Edward was a teenager when he left for the Royal Navy. The training of a sailor begins very early. Speaking of Hugo, what do you know about him? Just what I was told, he was a base and diabolical being. He terrorized the family. He did not care for Oliver, his younger brother. I shouldn't be surprised if Hugo were responsible for Oliver's disappearance. In spite of his detestable character, Hugo found a delightful woman. 
Hugo was madly in love with her, but she couldn't return his love. Their union did not last. Growing jealousy and schizophrenia drove Hugo out of his mind. He killed his wife in so vile a manner. This dreadful murder is said to be the origin of the curse. I don't know any more about it. Do you think that his wife was some kind of witch? Could she have cursed your family before dying? No, Hugo was the only Baskerville said to practice the dark arts, nobody else. Interesting, it is possible that the locket belonged to Hugo. For now, let us search this place. Perhaps we shall find clues to help us in our inquiry. Tell us about Elizabeth Henry. She was my cousin, the daughter of Charles, and a great painter. There is nothing worse than to survive your own children, and that's what happened to my poor uncle. Elizabeth was attacked by the beast 15 years before her father. It is tragic. It was from this time that Charles began to write to me. He was so sad. I think he felt guilty for failing to protect his daughter.
again fresh traces of a prodigious violent struggle. The poor man should have stayed at sea. He was safer there. If the logic that we've seen so far continues, we should soon find another jewel of the medallion. Yes, Dr. Watson, but this locket worries me more and more. I'm not persuaded that it's good for us. What do you mean, Holmes? Obviously, this item didn't belong to any of the victims of the curse, which means that it is possible that it could have been Hugo's, and I don't like that hypothesis. However, this medallion is an essential element of our progress. It guided us here. Guided or manipulated? I really can't decide. without approaching. You don't think it means telekinesis? Why not? It would not be the strangest thing that we've seen in this manner. I fear the next step of our inquiry. Now that the locket is whole, we are going to have to find the beast, aren't we? I'm afraid so, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> 